The last two weeks has been a challenging week for us to work as a team. Due to the Eid holiday, we had to do remote working from our respective hometowns. Together, we tried to set our short-term goals toward the final pitch in September, as how we thought during the Singapore boot camp. We also tried to communicate via the WebEx to try out the software and use it as one of the medias we used during the hour remote working. As July 10, we have accomplished our first short-term goal to successfully interpret the second month observation data of our lab tests, led by Nabil Faradis, that we had collected before our departure to Singapore. The data shows promising results as the growth of fishes that has been grown in microbubble in this environment is 47 heavier and 22% longer compared to the ones that has been grown in regular Eretra environment. But the number of ammonia, the toxic that came from fish excretion in the microbubble environment is at the highest compared to the regular Eretra environment. We predict that it's actually normal to happen because of the fish in microbubble environment has tendency to eat more, grew 47% bigger, thus they will excrete more. Meanwhile, the tank that we use is not capable anymore to hold up fishes that big, since they are not that big and not that deep, a high amount of fish excretion that is concentrated in small areas will affect the amount of ammonia in the water, thus it becomes higher. And because of so, we decided to stop our lab tests in our second month observation and start to prepare ourselves for a field test which the result will hopefully give us a more realistic view of the performance of our technology. In the next two weeks, we will try to prepare the administration needed for our field test with local fish farmers in Bukesan, Yogyakarta, refining our prototype and to fix our former proposal so we could get a better picture for our final pitch in September.